I joined the Navy two months after my mom died, as soon as I turned the age of 18. Boot camp was the worst part of the whole Navy experience. That was no fun at all. But I found out that I got assigned to an aircraft carrier, the USS Constellation. My job was to tie down the aircraft with chains. Before they launched them, I would take the chains off, and when they were covered, I would put the chains back on. That was a terrifying experience. It was the first time I had ever been on a flight deck of an aircraft carrier. I remember the first time I walked out from behind the island and all these, all this prop wash from the propellers from the aircraft hit me like a hurricane and almost sent me de flying down the deck right into another jet plane. That, I mean, that was pretty terrifying. After about two months, they transferred me to catapult number one. That was at the front of the ship. It was a lot better up there. They didn't have all the planes all around. All you had to do was contend with the one plane that you were working on. My job was to get underneath the, the aircraft on the catapult and hook up the plane with big cables to the catapult. And then our ship went on a cruise to the Orient a nine-month cruise. Our first stop was Hawaii. I had never been to Hawaii. That was beautiful. And then our next stop was the Philippines. Subic Bay in the Philippines. Stayed there for a few days. Nothing else to do there but drink when you left the ship. And then they sent us to Hong Kong was our next next stop. That was that was interesting. We were throwing coins in the water and the, and the little boys in the sand pan would uh, dive in the water after them. Well, we left Hong Kong and headed to the North China Sea. That's the coast of Vietnam. When we got into the Gulf of Tonkin in August of 1964, they started loading up the, all the planes with uh, bombs. This was the first time they had done that. And from then on, every launch, the, flame, the planes were fully loaded with bombs and rockets. And it continued that way for the rest of the cruise.
we had been at sea for two months launching planes every day working 16 to 18 hours and we were just getting so tired of seeing nothing but water to boost our morale they had a barbecue on the flight deck one day we were so glad to see that aircraft carrier off in the distance we knew we were going to be relieved and we were going to start heading home but first we were going to stop off in Yokosuka, Japan that's me and my crew sitting around in the bar in Yokosuka, Japan that was fun good times when we got back to the US the Constellation went into dry dock for repairs after we came out of dry dock we started on another cruise I only had two months left to, to go in the Navy before I was discharged halfway to Hawaii a plane just like the one you see me sitting on there an A4 ran over my leg and crushed it I spent the next six months in the hospital after the pain started to go away it wasn't so bad uh, laying around in the hospital in Hawaii in fact I even met a girl there she'd come to visit me all the time she was pretty nice I wonder whatever happened to her well I had to stay four months past my discharge date but I finally got out of the service Yay!